And when Jesus came, he said, the works that I have done, my disciples will do even greater works than these will he do. When I go to the Father, I allow you to have a relationship with God. And because you have a relationship with God, the Spirit of God will dwell in you. And then as you yield to it, as you listen to me, you will be able to do what I did. And even greater works than these will you do. Now, the work that we do is not to reconcile the world to God through our own effort, but through the declaration of what Jesus has done, which produces in our life unity with God, which produces in our life uh, uh, the measure of a man that we should be. In other words, we become more like God intended humankind to be from the beginning. That's what the church should be, a constant reminder that there is a God who does powerful things, and there is nothing more powerful than making a selfish man selfless. There is nothing more powerful than taking men walking like zombies, entranced by sin and sloth and a love for silver and sex and self-promotion and making them other-centered servants. And when you see God do that with a group of people, it grabs folks' attention. When all of a sudden there is a new animation, a new life in people, folks wanna know what is the source of that. When you no longer walk as all men walk, but um, you, you don't fall short, uh, you don't fall short of, of the story that God intended to work out in men, which is men full of peace, being instruments of peace, and living in a way that leads to human flourishing, personal and corporate. The world wants to know what's the source of that, and we are to tell them the source of that is God ultimately revealed through Jesus, who did something for those of us who didn't lead to human flourishing in the way that we live, but we left the destruction in our own life and the life of others. And now we're in a world that is going to be judged in a world that is moving towards um, chaos in greater and greater ways because it moved away from the beauty that God intended. And we're not freaked out. We are people of peace because we have peace with God. And we know that one day God will make it right and he will deal even with our flesh, which is fallen and corrupt and dying and prone to all that is in this world. 